Mr. Zuckerman did not allow her to take Wilbur out. And he did not allow her to get into the pig pen. But he told Fern that she could sit on the stool and watch Wilbur as long as she wanted to. It made her happy just to be near the pig. And it made Wilbur happy to know that she was sitting there. Right outside his pen. But he never had any fun o' walks. No rides, no swims. One afternoon in June. When Wilbur was almost two months old. He wandered out into his small yard outside the barn. Fern had not arrived for her usual visit. Wilbur stood in the sun feeling lonely and bored. When he tired of this, he walked indoors, climbed to the top of the manure pile, and sat down. He didn't feel like going to sleep. He didn't feel like digging. He was tired of standing still, tired of lying down. I'm less than two months old and I'm tired of living, he said. He walked out to the yard again. When I'm out here, he said, there's no place to go but in. When I'm indoors, there's no place to go but out in the yard. That's where you're wrong, my friend, my friend, said a voice. Wilbur looked through the fence and saw the goose standing there. You don't have to stay in that dirty little dirty little dirty little yard, said the goose, who talked rather fast. One of the boards is loose. Push on it, push 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 on it, and come on out. What? said Wilbur. Say it slower, at it at, at the risk of repeating myself. Said the goose, I suggest that you come on out. It's wonderful out here. Did you say a board was loose? That I did, that I did, said the goose. Wilbur walked up to the fence and saw that the goose was right. One board was loose. He put his head down, shut his eyes, and pushed. The board gave way. In a minute he had squeezed through the fence and was standing in the long grass outside his yard. The goose chuckled. How does it feel to be free? She asked. I like it, said Wilbur. That is, I guess I like it. Actually, Wilbur felt queer to be outside his fence. With nothing between him and the big world. Where do you think I'd better go? 